Guys, you know that sinking feeling when you open a blank file and have no idea where to start? Or when you've got 15 Stack Overflow tabs open, hoping one of them saves the day? Yes, I've been there too. My name is Daniel, and today I want to introduce you to Verdant AI. It lives right inside Visual Studio Code and helps with planning, coding, and verifying your app. In this video, we'll install the extension and use the plan first workflow to build a Pomodoro timer. Then we'll tweak the code and optimize it with built in features. Guys, make sure you check out all the useful links in the description after watching this video. There might be some nice discounts there. And now, let's dive in. Ok guys, so Verdant AI is an agentic coding assistant that lives in VS Code and does the heavy lifting for you. It plans the work, writes the code, and verifies the results before passing it back to you. Verdant comes from Codec, a company launched in 2025 by leaders from TikTok and Baidu. These folks know what they're doing. They built Verdant to act like a trustworthy developer's assistant. And their goal is shipping production-ready changes without all the busy work. So guys, in short, it works like this. You describe the feature you want, and it takes over. It creates a step-by-step -step plan, runs specialized sub-agents, and keeps you in the loop with transparent progress updates. No black box magic, just clear explainable results. And if you have got heavier workloads, Verdant Deck comes in. It spins up multiple agents in parallel, each running inside its own isolated Git work tree. This means you can delegate across projects and still review a neat, clean summary of all changes. And now let's build a real app with Verdant. All right, my friends, let's open the Verdant AI website. Here you'll find two main products, Verdant Deck and the Verdant extension for Visual Studio Code. You can use the former locally on your computer, but I prefer the second option. So I'll choose that and click Install in VS Code. The app will open and you'll see the installation button there. I've already got it, so it doesn't show up for me. Once you hit the button, Verdant will be added to your VS Code and its icon will appear on the left sidebar. After that, all you need to do is sign up or enter your credentials, if you already have them. Then, guys, you can start using Verdant to its full potential. In the top menu, you can create a new session, review your history, or add rules. This is the important feature, actually. Rules are customizable settings that guide how the AI agents behave. You can define user preferences, project-specific rules, or even plan rules. There's also access to sub-agents and MCP servers. This tool lets you extend the AI's abilities by connecting external tools to your project. You just need to click Add and set up the connection. The last two items are user account and feedback. At the bottom, there's a chat window where you can add context in the form of folders, files, or even sub-agents. There's a separate icon for sub-agents. And here we have two, Verifier and Researcher. They allow you to check your code or deeply analyze the architecture. You can also add your own custom sub-agents. Next, you can attach images and manage permission levels. Either approve each agent's action manually or let it work autonomously. There is also a skip permissions mode. The model can take more time to think if you need it, my friends. It can also generate a plan before writing code. And finally, you've got the send message button for the chat. To test Verdant AI, I created a folder called Verdant Pomodoro. And now I want to build a browser-based app inside it. Next, we need to initialize the repository. Then I can send my prompt to the agent. I'll ask it to create a one-page focus timer Pomodoro. I define features, non-goals, and acceptance criteria. I also specify the deliverables. After that, let's send the message, guys. The agent starts thinking and quickly replies that it will now create a plan. Let's expand it and take a look. It's a very detailed plan with the objective, core features, and thoroughly listed items. It includes key technical considerations, dependencies and constraints, and other sections. Now we can approve it and click Start Building. Guys, before we move on, I try to make my content fun instead of boring. And in return, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content I make. OK, we're back. If something doesn't look right, guys, we can click Edit, but I'll launch the agent. As you can see, Verdant has executed all the steps. Here are the key features implemented. Next, it suggests launching the app in the browser. Task completed. We now have an index.html file ready to check. We clearly see almost 100 new lines of code were added. I'll open it in the browser. And here you can see the Verdant Pomodoro folder. Let's test the timer. 
I click Start and the timer begins. We can stop or reset it, and it goes back to 25 minutes. There's also a task field. For example, I type something and click Add. All buttons work. You can mark a task as done or deleted. The Pomodoro timer works exactly as it should. Now, my friends, I want to go deeper into Verdin's features and commit to the current changes. I enter Initial Commit and Confirm. Then I open the Git log, which appears right here in the app window. Now I return to Verdant and ask it to explain the code changes using the difference. I send the request, and the reply is that this feature can't be used because it's a brand new repository. This makes sense, guys. Beyond writing code, Verdant can also run detailed checks and suggest improvements. Let's try it. I type a short prompt and send it. Within seconds, it gives me a full report of what it changed and improved. For instance, it enhanced task navigation with keyboard shortcuts, added screen reader support, and more. We clearly see almost 300 new lines of code were added. Next, guys, let's see how it handles user interface changes. Let's simply write in chat that I want a dark mode and the ability to start the timer with the space key. I'll send the prompt, and in a few moments the agent reports implementation complete. Let's check it. A dark mode icon now appears at the top. I switch it on, and it works. I'll also try managing the timer with my keyboard, and it works too. I didn't press any keys. Now, difference should work since changes were made. I ask for a summary, and Verdant generates release notes, dark mode, mobile-first improvements, and other updates. This is clear, structured, and fast. Finally, my friends, I want to show you sub-agents, specifically the verifier. I activate it and send a prompt with requests to open the index file, start timer, pause, and more. The verifier has used 15 tools and concluded that the app has been thoroughly tested and performs its tasks flawlessly. A detailed report follows, confirming that everything works perfectly. All right, folks, let's wrap it up with a quick summary. Today we went from idea to a working Pomodoro app inside VS Code. Verdant AI planned the work, wrote the files, and verified them. We committed changes, read different summaries, and shipped dark mode and keyboard shortcuts. Everything worked fast, guys. We could manage the process just by chatting with an AI. It's literally an all-in-one solution, so you don't have to bounce between a bunch of tools. So guys, if you value speed, clear diffs, and verifier-backed changes, it's a practical option. Verdant is especially for solo builders, educators, and teams prototyping features. And if you've already tried it, share your impressions in the comments. Feel free to check out the links in the description below, you might find some discounts there. As usual, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, until next time.